Hello, Gary Crowley here with Neck and Shoulder Pain Relief. Uh, here in step one, we're going to do three basic things. We're going to release the top of your neck, the bottom of your neck, and the top of your shoulder. Um, some people call it, I call this shoulder neck because some people consider this their neck, some people consider it their shoulder, some people even consider it their upper back. Uh, so I include it in all those areas on this website. But uh, step one, we're going to do the press hold move technique and you're just going to put your fingertips on either side of your spine, basically on the bottom of your, on the very bottom of your skull called your occiput. And if there's a tender spot there, you're going to press on it and move. Turn your head no, nod, tilt your head. You can also do the hand on hand technique, one, doing one side at a time where you're getting your fingertips on that base of your skull, pressing, you press, pull, release, or press, hold, move, and releasing all those muscles. Then you move down so you're on your, you're actually on your upper, upper neck. Um, same thing, not too much tenderness there, a little bit there. So I do the hand on hand, nod yes, turn no, nodding yes seems to make those muscles move the most under my fingertips and seems to get the most release. Uh, gets my cerebellum understanding I want this released. The other side's already pretty loose. Uh, now we're going to go down to the lower half of our neck. And same thing, I'm just, first I check with my fingertips on both sides of that spine, find out what's tender, a little bit tender here. Um, so I can do both sides, and that gets a little bit, but boy, if I do a hand on hand, where again, I got my fingertips in that, in that, tender spot, I got my, my other hand pressing on those fingertips. I'm nodding, and again, nodding with these muscles seems to be pretty good. Tilting's pretty good too. No, doesn't do too much. Um, so that gets me my release. And again, I don't have an issue in my, in this area, so things that are tight release pretty easily. You might have to spend a little more time. And then the last thing we're going to do here in step one is get this upper upper shoulder area, uh, your, your, basically your, your traps and underneath that is, is your supraspinatus muscle. But you're just going to press your fingertips in here and kind of heading down your back a little bit. And any tender spots you find, we're going to do the press hold move technique. So you're going to press here. Usually the opposite hand gets in there a little better. So I'm just pressing. And then when I find a nice tender spot, I'm moving that arm. And basically when you move your arm this way, it gets that whole shoulder girdle engaged, tells your brain you want to use it. And as these muscles release, these upper ribs will also kind of drop back where they ideally want to be, less likely to yank and pull on those nerves. And actually this just feels good just from modern living, so pretty much anybody doing this it would probably feel good. But most importantly, you're pressing, holding, and making that tissue move under the pressure of your fingertips. You are not massaging the tissue. You are not going across the surface of the tissue because that's not going to get anything done. So um, that is step one of uh, shoulder and neck pain relief. I uh, will see you at step two. Thank you very much.